goddamn good lord, the celluloid done give way. Give me that backup reel, son. These folks are animals. And we're back, baby. That's right, bitches. Fight Circus Volume 2. How excited are you to be here? After the first one, I thought nothing could eclipse what we achieved. But then John Nutt comes to us and says, Teddy and Aaron, you're the stars of the show. We need you back. We're going to do two. And we said, okay, the money's right. So we're here. And we're live. And we're ready, Teddy. That's right, haters. We're back, bitches. Fight Circus Volume 2. Suck it. Guess who's back, 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 Tang Moo's back, back. That's right, folks. After a head kick, no moss, Tang Moo is back in the fight circus ring. This time, taking on the Filipino phenom, Rocky Baptol, who is undefeated so far in the full metal dojo ring. And now he has a mountain of a man to take on in Tang Moo. This is gonna be a weird, wonderful fight. What do you think now for Tang Mu? This is not Trinity Rules as before. This is MMA. Aaron, what's going on? Right in my head right now, I'm thinking Joe Rogan telling jokes on stage. Mm -hmm. Shia LaBeouf acting. Mm -hmm. John Nutt setting up matches. They are all terrible at what they do. However, we love them because they try hard. And Tang Mo is 300 pounds of effort yes. and inspiration. You watch Tang Mo and you think to yourself, what is he doing there? But also, I could do that, and that is why we love Tang Mo. That is absolutely right. Scariest thing about Rocky Baktol will be his just entire skill set that he brings. Scariest thing about Tang Mo, adult onset diabetes. Who knows how this is gonna go? For those of you not happy about the two-on-one fight that happened in Fight Circus 1, you're not the only one. Because Ali, the king of kebabs, was not happy either. And what the king wants, the king gets. He asked for a fight against Bank and No Money. He thinks his big belly has enough pressure on it in order to take these two guys out. Now, we saw the way Bank and No Money handled the crazy Russian. What do you think? Yeah, they handled them greatly. Not even that, they fought and beat them twice. So now, in preparation, they're gonna fight someone who on paper is not as good as the person they fought in the first fight surface. But in fight surface, Teddy, you never know what could happen. You know already. And on paper is not something how we roll right now. Ali is a master at carving up a lot more than just kebabs. He's gonna take on two dudes. Hey, gay! Who knows what's gonna happen again? A fight of the night, possible stealer. Ali against Bank and No Money, one on two. 
who will win in an Indian leg wrestling competition between two absolute phenoms and two absolute beauties. We have Jamaica on one side and Tracy on the other side, both physically fit women, intelligent, smart, and beautiful in their own right. But Indian leg wrestling, something new for these ladies, I think. Who can squat the most? Ooh, feel the burn. Not me. Tracy and Jamaica, Indian leg wrestling, man. It is going to be absolutely insane. you got to love the brain of John Nuss. Spinning shit. Can you believe it? The insane, insane brain of John Nutt comes up with a spinning into an attack in order to start your attack fights. Could be fight of the night. we got Fabio Hawthorne versus not Fabio. Down for whatever. If you follow him online, you know exactly what this guy's about. Brazilian, probably a Capoeira background. He loves spinning shit. I think he may take it over. Now, what do you think? I'm thinking about this fight. I'm thinking like a fairground. You go around and around. But on this occasion, it's going to be you through that camera lens that's going to throw up at the concept of spinning a shit fight. What are we going to expect? I'm going to say a lot of spinning shit. I think someone's going to get knocked out. Fight circus. Oh my God. Of course, we're bringing you the insanity. Here we go. Two on two battle of the bands right now in a tag team affair. I want you to think demolition. I want you to think Typhoon. I want you to think The Undertaker and Kane and then throw all that out because none of that is what's happening. It's gonna be an absolute shit show. We have two rock bands that are gonna play during the show and then battle each other on a two on two, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a tag event as well. Who knows what's going on? I just feel bad for the referee. Good luck. Yeah, you wanna sum up 2020 in one match? This piece of shit sums it up perfectly. And the last time that I went onto the internet and tried to watch a two on two, I got robbed of a lot of money. But it won't be tears this time that you're hearing, it'll be wham, bam, crack from the two bands going at it. One thing that will be answered is who is the toughest guy in the band? Bass, guitar, lead singer, I'm going with the drummer. Let's see who is face first on this canvas and who draws first blood. Battle of the bands! I'm telling you, I love Fight Circus. Taking it back maybe to the original Kumate, if you will. John Nuts, the only one that's gonna bring you all the way back to that far and answer these questions. We have Kung Fu versus Karate. Of course, TT is back. Now he's fighting Tak. Tak saw what TT did in Fight Circus 1, so I think he's a bit more ready than the fighter who fought TT before. But can he bring enough power and enough kicks? He well, might have been ready, but on the first Fight Circus, Muay Thai was embarrassed by TT. John Nutt had no other option than to call up in China, Jet Li. Hey, Jet, how's it been? Do you have anyone who can fight TT on the next fight circus? They made another call to his brother, who then called the Milkman. And now we've got this beautiful fight in front of us, Eddie. That's right, baby. TT versus Tak. Who is going to win the kicking only fight and be a phenom on the internet? Let's find out. And Steve Panda Banks, who almost took out the entire front row during his debut at Fight Circus 1, is now back! Not against one. That was way too easy for Steve Panda Banks, the former WBC Muay Thai champion. Now he's back against three. Yeah, count it. One, two, and three. This fight's going to start off with a one versus two, and then a third's coming in. The knockout power that he has, the skill set he has against three other hopefully not wounded ducks here. What we're hoping for is Panda to go out there, crush the first person, that leaves one sitting duck teddy, and then as soon as the next person comes in, really, a panda against two lightweights, it's gonna be game over. It might be game over unless all three can just swarm on them. Either way, this is gonna be an insane fight. Panda Banks against three, and the one fight that may be considered a quote unquote normal fight with a couple one two cutie pies. We got TJ Chang against Juan P. Chai. Both fighters, incredible skill set. Both fighters really coming to bring it. TJ Chang, a local hero, if you will, coach, mentor, and of course, a fighter, if not model, in my opinion, against Juan P. Chai, who wants to smash his stupid face. Don't quote me that he said that, but he may have. Aaron, thoughts on it? Yeah, TJ, no slouch. He knows how to use the left and the right hand. And one of them is gonna get rammed down the mouth. 
of the TIE Fighter in this bout. One which I need to be careful. This is the main event now, TJ Chang and Wang P. Chai. And folks, that is the card on Fight Circus Volume 2. What an insane package Johnny Nutt has put together. And without further ado, let's head down to John Nutt. Are we live? Renato, DJ, can I get some music, please? Let's get up and let's get the new fight, man. Move it back. Push it back. Push it back. Ladies, ladies, ladies. My man. We will go a little something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, races, creeds, colors, sexual orientation, welcome to the most exclusive, coolest carnival fight show this side of the Mekong or that side of the Mississippi. This is FMD's Fight Circus Volume 2 Circus Harder Part Now, powered by Cam Soda, Bangkok. Make some noise! <laughs> what we have in store for you this evening or morning, depending on where you are in the globe, nine fights of the freakish nature in these freakish times. Freak shows are what we're all about. Magic tricks is what this performance is all about. And for my first trick of the morning or evening, depending on where you are, I will perform the King's Anthem as we are in the Kingdom of Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. ก็ยืนนะครับขอยืนนะครับคนไทยขอเสียงมาหน่อยด้วยนะขอวรพุทธเจ้าเฮาบานอลาสิวะคอนโนปราภูมิปานปุญญาดิเวเอปะมาจาตวินรอสยามินรอยอสิโยเยนสิราโปปะปริปาผลพระคุณทารังทาภูมิประจาบันสุขสาหะปุณณะ let's get up and let's get ill fight fans my second magic trick of the day is showing you guys at home what bad matchmaking is really all about. Every promotion does it. Every fight promotion does it. But none of them are as transparent or cool as us. So I'll give you shitty fights and I'll tell you when they're shitty. <laughs> That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. This first bout coming out to us is 
three five minute rounds of open weight MMA action between somebody that shouldn't be fighting, but it's his birthday, so we're gonna let him, and another guy who's probably gonna kick his ass. Let's get up and let's get ill. And this is Full Metal Dojo's Fight Circus 2. Our first fight on the card is an open weight bout under MMA rules between Rocky Bactol and Tang Mo. To kick this night off, we got Rocky Bactol and a TIE fighter, Thang Ma. Thang Ma, that's watermelon, because he's freaking huge and round like a watermelon. So we call him Watermelon. You may remember Tang from Fight Circus Volume 1, where he got kicked in the face and said, no mas. Little known fact about Tang Mo, in 1993, he went one-on-one -on -one with Mothra and fought to a unanimous draw. But now he's fighting open weight MMA. He said none of that Trinity bullshit. I've had enough of that. I'm an MMA fighter. Rocky Bactol is a one and two bantamweight out of Yorkie MMA. This is one tough fighter. He's got awards. He's got belts. This is a champion fighter. Little known fact about Rocky Bactol, he knows how to fly an airplane. Never successfully, and he's never gone to school for it, but he's a pilot. Rocky Bactol facing off against Tang Mo is gonna be a fight of epic proportions. If for no other reason than Tang Mo's epic proportions. Rocky Bactol will most likely be bouncing from rope to rope, flying around like a young Rey Mysterio, looking to take the big Tang Mo to the ground. Renato, let's bring in the fighters! Inside the fight circus ring, let's bring out his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, 
coming in at a whopping 110 kilos. It is his 30th birthday. It is his 30th birthday. Suksamam Gandagam, happy birthday, Tango. Happy birthday, yes. Throw some pups out. Again, let's give it up for the one and only, the legend of Bangkok, Mr. Tango. What an amazing round of applause I was. His opponent needs no introduction to full Metal Dojo fans. One of our youngest bucks on the corner. This guy is an absolute animal. Weighing him at the 155 pound. Again, we got 110 kilos versus 70 kilos. We've got 30 years old against 20? 20? 22? 21. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what age he is. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Rocky Mackerel! Three five minute rounds of MMA action. We've got judges at ringside and when it goes underway, again, head up. It's a good champion. I love you. I love not sexually, again. Yeah, give it up. Let's get up and let's get your fight, fans. This is our first match of the day. That is right, fight fans. Match number one, Fight Circus Volume 2, Fight Harder. Of course, I'm Teddy Mulvey alongside Aaron Seri Sampan. Take a look at the age is a little bit in Tang Mu's favor. Maybe weight, certainly. Virtually identical. There we go, of course, in the Fight Circus ring. Chapman making sure everyone's ready. Gorgeous FMD girls, and here we go. Five, three minute rounds, opening up a Fight Circus Volume 2. This is what the fans wanted. All the fighters. But we gave them it anyway. Both fighters in the traditional stance. Rocky circling, takes oh, it. Oh, and he's got it. Real quick. Tango trying to squash him with that watermelon belly. Pretty good sprawl there. Rocky he gets back up. Can't believe he climbed that mountain all the way back up. Now a nice little hug fest. Grab That's his titties. Yeah, nope, yeah. Doesn't do it. Ario. Send back down. Ooh, back into side control. Beautiful by Rocky. I'll give those shots. Raining down shots now. Ooh, he's got that arm. Oh. So those Oreo nipples never look so good. Oh. <laughs> Pepperoni, in my opinion. Now he's just smashing Agree, them disagree. Now. He's buttering up the pastry, if you will. Rocky in full control. Not much moving on the ground now by Tang Mu. He's got to be careful of that arm. Oh, he's just getting beat up now. He's got it. He's, he's beating him up now. Tang Mu, not much defense. He's looking for oh, it. Oh, the, that's, that's enough. We've and called it. Of course, again, Tang Mu, our own Brooklyn brawler. Not Happy birthday. Just want to give a quick shout out to Eat Ass Bro, our best tipper on Camp Soda. Eat Ass Bro, great job. Ladies and gentlemen, after 39 seconds of the very first round, your winner, Rocky Bactol. Fantastic, Ash. Tango, again, it is your birthday. A lot of people don't know this. Um, I want you to be my Brooklyn brawler. You know what that means? Yes, I know. So I want you to come back and fight on every fight circus and probably never win one time. Yes, okay. Yeah, that's fine with you? I love the fights, I love the curry puffs. He loves to fight and he loves curry puffs. My favorite fighter in the world, Mr. Tang Mo. Our very own b -Sack, brother. Our very own b -Sack. Love you, dog. I love you. We are not worthy. Let's move on to the second bout of the evening. DJ Ronaldo, if you could, please bring us over to those magical videos that my teammates love to so, so often. It's a lot of that going on. A lot of that. Up next, one of those crazy fights that you can't see anywhere else. We got Bank and No Money, which are both people's names somehow. 
versus Ali, the Kebab King, Mohammed. They're back. They're defending their two versus one title. And you know who they're defending it against? The King of Kebab, or as I like to call him, the Cock. Ali, we know, can swing, bang, and cook beautiful cuisine. But can he take out two guys like Bank and No Money who work so well in tandem like a magician's rabbit and his right hand? I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Oh man, if you're ever in Phuket, check it out. There's kebabs out of this freaking world. If you're looking for the best barbecue in Phuket, Ali's Barbecue is the only spot. You can ask Valentina Shevchenko. She'll tell you. Now let's just hope Bank and No Money don't knock them too far out of this world, or else he won't be making me any more of those delicious kebabs. But I put my money on No Money and Bank. Bank and No Money actually managed to get laid after their last performance. Bank, No Money, the brotherly duo, or will the King of Kebab take over and put the smack down on these fools? Probably can't say that, that's probably copyrighted. Or will Ali take their heads, crack them together like coconuts, and reign supreme? as the king of kebab. Don't we all just think it sucks? But 
We here in Thailand are lucky enough to be able to join things with live audiences. So I want to bring out my second magic trick of the night. Second magic trick of the night is I want to bring out a young fighter, Rocky Bakdol's younger cousin, and we want to make a man out of him. Turns 18, again we're giving birthday love. Let's bring out young Bakdol. Let's bring young, young Bakdol out for our secret match of the evening. Again, fight fans, no idea what's going nope. on here. No Johnny idea. Nuts, mad brain, insane in the membrane, bringing out apparently a 12 year old and something's gonna happen in the ring. Cannot wait to see the madness though. Where is that boy's mother? Uh, in the ripped jeans. <laughs> She's in the ripped jeans. Yes. What the shit is going on, folks? Nothing better than Fight Circus. Here we go. Circus harder, apparently. This is Young Bacco. Young Bacco is 18 years old. 12 and a half. Young Bacco has felt breasts before. He knows what breasts are. Not just his mom's breasts, other breasts. This is a breast man. <laughs> but today, he is a leg man. Are you not? You are a leg man. Right? When this matchup was made, Alan Muhammad wanted to fight banking no money. Now, if you saw the last fight circus, you would know that we put banking no money against a large Ukrainian. You would think that after they beat him, we would pick a bigger, larger Ukrainian. But no, Alan Muhammad, the king of kebab. If the king asks for it, the king gets it, ladies and gentlemen. So he'll be taking on banking no money. But Young Bakdol said that he is the best Rochambeau Thai Charlie Horse competition competitor to ever live. You've seen Russian slap contests, but have you seen Thai Charlie Horse contests? No, you have not until Fight Circus Part 2. So let's bring in his competitor. Bang! <laughs> Oh shit, sounds like a Charlie Horse competition here in Bangkok. Champion Charlie Horse, Rochambeau. Yet, he has gloves on. The rules are very simple. Here we go. Tommy Hayden, our referee in charge, will step forward. Tommy has no he idea what's going on. Rock, young Bactol, my excuse me, I get confused sometimes. He will allow young Bactol to take one shot, lower this, and then we will go full Rochambeau. Full Rochambeau. Kick for kick until one of them falls. Now the best part about this is, no matter who wins, Bank is still gonna fight with no money against Ali right after this is done. All right? All right? I'm gonna take to a neutral corner. Young Bacco, you won the coin toss in the back. You get to go first. Tommy, get them prepped. All right, I think I know what's going on here. Real quick though, let's just give a shout out to Ben Stark for answering the question. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin was a homosexual? Here we go now, getting this ready. The one twos. Ooh, good outside leg kick, answered back. Mm. Bank has got, Bank has got to step into this. All right, Johnny Knott. really dig in. I want you to really dig in, okay? Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm, good check, though, by Bank. <laughs> Rubbing his tits as well. Here we go. They're right back and forth. I don't know who's going to drop here. I think it's that one guy's 12 and one guy uh, is kind of like a peanut butter, peanut butter falcon. So here we go. Outside leg kick. Oh, geez, going for corner advice here. All right, Tommy Hayden says go. Yeah, come on. Take him out. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, he took that, the 18 year old. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, is this a standing eight count? Oh, it's a no boss. I did too. Oh, he's hurt. All right. Well.
He's gonna cry. First tears, first tears, first tears, folks. Championship fight circus action. Fighting first out of the blue corner. This man cooks the best meats in all of Phuket. He has kebabs that when he shits them out, everybody wants to eat them. And then they shit it out and they make coffee that is worth millions of dollars in Buenos Aires. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the meat specialist. The only meat that I ever want in my mouth. Ali, the king of kebab. Not the only promotion, not the only promotion my friends to go champion versus champion today. <laughs> king of kebab is fighting the apes MMA symmetrical champions. This man who just got kicked in the leg, he weighed in at a big 70 kilos. Around there, correct? About that. He's been kicked in the legs. We thought that he was going to be the better brother last time. He didn't. He kind of sucked. It was very shameful. He's back. Give it up for back. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. We need to give it up for the real man. The one that we know is going to bring the fight to the people. And his name is no fucking money. Yes! Yes! Woo! Love that guy. Three 90 second rounds of MMA symmetrical championship action. And when it gets underway, the man, the myth, the legend, Thomas the Wildcard Hayden Sorry. is in charge. Let's start it up, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy Hayden, obviously he is Justin Gaethje's younger brother and less successful. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for kebabs versus 174 and 165, 66, 62. Right and there it goes. All right. <laughs> Enough of that bullshit. Here Boring. we go. Look. No tattoos on Allie. You no. know why? Go on. He says there's no graffiti on the pyramids. Oh. That's what he says. You don't spit on a temple. Exactly. He says you don't put bumper stickers on a Mercedes Benz. That's exactly what he said. His body is a temple. Just not sure. Maybe the, maybe temple in Philadelphia? <laughs> Before this shit show continues, big shout out to Grasshoppers on Cam Soda. Thank you. We love your tipping, Grasshoppers. Here we go. I have no idea how many rounds this is. I'm assuming it's going to be three five-minute rounds. We have banked in and no money in the red. Let's go. Two on one. Let's go. Ali, the king of kebabs in the blue. King of kebabs unhappy with the last fight. Says he can take them both out. He asked for this fight. Watch. Oh, big oh. kick right there to the belly. Oh, this is a mess. Uh oh, Ali's in trouble. Another big kick. Takes him to the ground now. These two boys oh. changed the game in Fight Circus 1. Everyone thought there Royce is. Gracie was the man to change oh. MMA. Oh, there we go. Heads to the shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. up top, baby. Problems. Big backhand. The pimp hand is strong for Ali. He's going to try and choke him out. Nope. Broken up there by Bank. Oh, no. man. No money is vicious now up top again. No money loves it getting close. He loves it. Bangkok rolling we got going on now. Big swing by Ali. He's up against the corner. And he circles out intelligently, the big man. He circles away, but he's afraid. They're swinging oh. on him again. He's in trouble. Good he swing in left hand there from the kebab man, from the king. He thought it would be easy. Oh, this is where it's a real issue. Oh, that's it. Uh-oh. Tommy might have to bring him back up. Oh, he's getting beat right in the bread basket in that big mustache as well. Thailand's Iron Sheik now gets an eight count. Oh, no. Oh, shit, man. He's in a world of hurt now, Ali. Why on earth would he say this? Oh, left hook straight to that dead baby in his oh. belly there. No money, punishing him up top. That was amazing. That was incredible. Is that really our bell, John? Not saying ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? Get a goddamn bell in here. Hey, real quick during this, I just want to say sorry about the audio issues and video issues. Our team was in the back sucking ladyboy dicks. The ladyboys have came. Now our audio guys are back here. Video should be online like you see now. Right up top there by No Money. Goes again. Not bad head movement by Ali, by the way. Beautiful head movement, yeah. Oh, beautiful. That woman in that cat suit has, is bodied up. Yeah, rub them titties, dude. This is Cam Soda, man. 
Oh, look at the eyes. Yeah, he thought it would be a lot easier. And that man right there with the eyes. insane thinking. Yeah, insane. It really, is, it really is. But they prepared for this. I follow no money. <clears throat> You've been training MMA quite hard, as you can tell. And again, his brother, though, just looks like he's on the moon a little bit. I don't oh, know. He's a yeah. behind me. After that flip. Okay, what, a, what an eclectic looking audience we have. What type of a game plan does Welcome he to come up with now? Banking, no money. We're going to see a lot. We're going to see one go low. We're going to see one go high. Yeah, they're changing the game of MMA. Everyone's going to be training breakdancing after this. Who gives a shit about jujitsu? Here we go. Round two. Bank and no money against the King of Kebab, Ali. And Ali again up against the ropes. Took another solid right hand. And he's down again. Oh, oh my God. Shit out of him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They are going to let him get up for a little bit. He only allowed a three second ground and pound. Otherwise, it would be out of control. No soccer kicks either. Oh man, he is really gassed out now. Ooh, what does so Ali have in the tank? Goes to south ball position. I bet he stinks. Right? Ugh. Oh, good swing your left hand again there from Mother Bahamid. Man, those kicks to the belly are taking a toll. Oh, that one went a little bit low. Oh, solid right oh, hand. Beautiful right hand. You might call it. You might have to call it. He's asking him to call it. He says he's good. Excuse me. No quit in the King of Kebabs. They good. should be. Go away to go down low again from no money. What is Bank yep. doing? He's trying to submit his own friend. I don't get it, man. All right. Punching him up top, back on the ground. Here we go. Only a few seconds of ground and pound. And man, they're making the most of it. Tommy in to get him back up. How many times are they going to drape him off the canvas before they're going to call this? Ali now wide open mouth. I think he's Big so mustache. he's so sweaty. He's about to stick to that canvas. The pig. Oh, and again, just a swarm. Oh, it's so oh, 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 no, Tommy wants to call it. Man, yeah, that's it. Oh, wait, Tommy's calling it. I think, or is it a Kelly Kapowski? Has he been saved or not? Honestly, Tommy Hayden is really worried about Ali. Take a look now at that ground and pound. Oh, uh, yeah, great cut there, guys. Watch these kicks to the body. You got to say, Bank was actually pretty good with those kicks to the body. Oh, that right hand. Ali wasn't even looking. He was waiting to see those vicious roundhouse. There it is to the body. Shout out to Hat Retard, who returns after Fight Circus 1. The top tipper for that round. Good shit, Hat Retard. Also want to give a shout out to Che Monster on Instagram, C-H-E underscore monster. Check him out. And a big shout out to Mexico and Mexico City. Love you guys, man. I've been hitting up your podcast there with Che Monster. I absolutely love it. Follow us on all what podcasts. The, what forums. in the Whoa. shit were they doing on his belly? Pushing his... Pushing the kebabs well, out, man. Pushing the organs back in. That's what they're trying to do. Man, these brothers are no jokes. What? No, they are no money and bank. Good call. Thank you. Man, it's going to be tough for him to get off the stool. <laughs> Tommy Hayden really worried there. The referee, the third, excuse me, the fourth man in the <laughs> ring. Tommy, yeah, shit. Why did you say it third? I heard what you just said. Yeah, come on, man. Talk him up. Let's see a knockout punch. Let's see a haymaker because that's all that Ali... That's all Ali can do right now. Third and final round here. Round Two against three. one. Heart. Heart and true grit on display here for Ali Mohammed. Banking no money. Need to put him away here. Touch of the gloves. This is a wow. This, oh, is, this is a bit. Teeth. This is a bit like when you run over a cat in the middle of the road. You just have to do the sensible thing and reverse that shit and finish this there's now. A, come on. A big right hand, but he couldn't hit. Tommy separates. Good, good, good. Get him up. Get him up. A lot more action up top. Ah, shit. Oh, and that's what we thought would happen. Yeah, it's boring, just like your jeans. And that is it. What well, you have to say? True heart and true grit on that man. But is he cross-eyed now? He did. <laughs> he did talk shit though about the last fighter. He did say that he could do more. And guess what? He bit off a lot more than he could chew. King of Kebab could not do it. Please, no immediate rematch. Went in for the dick suck. I thought. Yeah. I think Bank and Nomani just sent him back to 1970. You know, the last time he could see his penis. Yes. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Yo, here's the question. Let's go through the replays and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the question. Here we go. Good flying Superman punch. Again, there are no losers in this dojo. It, take, it takes heart and balls and a lot of guts. It really you, does. You, my friend, have a lot of heart and balls and guts. 
And I can't wait to have your meat back in my mouth. Maybe this Tuesday at Taco Tuesday. Hey, now. Right? We can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of MMA symmetrical action, your winners and still champions of the universe, Bank and No Money. The question now goes out worldwide. Who thinks they can step in the ring and take these two fighters down? C contact John Nutt, all social media Another platforms. We need someone here to take these guys out. The king of the kebab. That man, that man knows everything about meat. Taking meat to the head, taking meat to the meat. I just love him, love him. He can literally sit on my face any day he wants to. Be A-OK -okay with it. Ali Muhammad. You are a gem. It's like, it's like they took an Arabian Greek god and other gods and had them make love to Prince and to Mario. Right? Doesn't he look? He's like an Iranian Ron Jeremy. That man right there. The hedgehog. Back with more action in just a moment. We're going to go over the commercial break, Renato. And then we will bring out the World Championship of Indian leg rustling. Now let's give it up to those guys who are, who are again, are, are the high tippers. What are their names again? What are their names? Shout out to Eat Ass Bo. Shout out to Grasshoppers. Shout out to Hat Retard. We love you, Hat Retard. Keep up the good work. Renato, give us the music. Hey Fight Circus fans, I hope you've been enjoying the show so far as much as I have. Fight Circus always brings some wacky shit to the table. And we're excited to keep bringing you these events, but we do need your support. We need you to sign up for an account, buy some tokens, and give them to your favorite fighter. If all goes well and we can get Fight Circus Volume 3, perhaps you'll see me in the ring again. Maybe I'll fight 20 midgets with tasers or get into a KY Jelly Wrestling match with a ladyboy from Bangkok. Anything is possible, but we still need your support. So if you're a fan of this show, do the right thing and throw us some tips. You know what really sucks these days? This coronavirus. But you want to know what sucks more than coronavirus? Being in some sort of prison rape, prison gang rape scenario where you just, you know, you're there and you don't want to be in there and you got four dudes that are just on top of you, beating you with soap and a sock to the point where you're just all bruised and battered and your butthole is ripped apart. It's absolutely ripped and ravaged apart. And it, it's got to be just sewn by doctors and you're all stitched up. Prison gang rape situations are what really suck. So on a Mr. Brightside note, this corona stuff sucks, but uh, prison, prison gang sex rape scenarios, they, they actually suck a little bit more with no teeth because they've knocked them out. So you're just giving shandies with the old, uh, the old gob, you know? You're gumming it. You're, you're, you're giving gummies, gummy blowers. Blowing with the gummies, because, because that's what happens when you don't have any teeth and you're in a prison gang rape situation. This has been Mr. Brightside with John Nutt. Our fourth contest of the night will be women's Indian leg wrestling. 
but not any Indian leg wrestling. Indian leg wrestling with fitness supermodels. Women's Indian leg wrestling. Oh yeah. Oh, we got these gorgeous, gorgeous ladies. Best of five. Sure, you can go and watch Valentina Shevchenko fight. You could, but these ladies. Mmm. Tracy and Jamaica, gorgeous, amazing legs, amazing butt. But they are really doing this. We will have Jamaica Forsyth facing off against Tracy Eden Larby. How will it go? I don't know. I don't even know what Indian leg wrestling is. Who's gonna win? I win. You win. We all win. Yeah. Did I just see that Dare Fight Sports is back, the MMA promotion? That is right, Dare Fight Sports, drug awareness resistance education. Yes, Dare Fights is back. I, I thought that died in 9-11. Guess not, it's back. There she is. Tracy Larby, we were not sure this fight was gonna happen. Classic women's bashing, she was late. Of course. But she's here now. Oh, hey, hey, hey careful. Uh, uh, careful, Stephen Wonderboy's Steve. uncle's and his grandma's cousin. Stephen Wonderboy, come here, check your uncle, homie. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, like a superhero here. I'm telling you, man, they need to. Ladies and gentlemen of Bangkok, give it up for the blue corner, Miss Tracy. Let's bring out her red corner. Oh, uh, I am pretty sure that is not Jamaica me crazy. Uh, Maybe we had a late replacement here, but uh, we'll see what Johnny Nut says inside. I guess they just found the nearest CrossFit gym and just dragged someone out of there and said, do you want to fight at Fight Circus? This lady's answered, she said yes. Thank you. All right, so we have a, uh, we have a discrepancy here, clearly in the butt and thighs. This is an Indian leg wrestling competition, so let's uh, be careful. Indian, is it dot or feather? No idea. Okay, just wondering. Maybe we get that in the comments. All right, Johnny Nut is gonna explain what the shit is going on right now, folks. Please do. We'll go right here. Ladies and gentlemen, in this fight game, sometimes matches fall apart. That, that's just what happens. It's a part of the game. Now, in other promotions, they'll lie to you. They'll tell you these weird, just strange stories of of why it fell through, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that to my fan base. Clearly, this is not Jamaica. Jamaica was supposed to make it onto a plane in Kosamui last night, and she missed it. She then tried to swim from Kosamui to Saratani, but by doing that, she pulled a hamstring and is not able to make it into the competition this evening. So we lost the fight, but, but, Flora has stepped up. Now, I just want to say, in that other organization, the UFC, everybody was giving Paul Felder credit for, for fighting on five days notice. Flora, five hours notice. A round of applause for Flora for stepping in and making the magic happen. Champions are made here at Fight Circus. And I smell a champion right there. And it smells like Dracar Noir and some other crappy perfume. Sorry, is that okay? Flora versus Tracy. Championship Indian leg wrestling. The master of championship Indian leg wrestling, obviously Nick Chapman will be in charge. He loves fisting as well. That's a fisting joke, get it in, get it in. Bring it in, 
Bring the ladies in. Bring the ladies in. Now again, we want clean fights. You know the rules. Correct. Well, we can't really hear this, but uh, okay. Maybe giant Oh, okay. Here the we go. Cam Soda, world. baby. This is why I we're on Cam Soda. standing here making sure this Indian leg rustling goes down. You, Mr. Cameraman, get up in there. Get up in that mug. Well, I don't feel this is not the uh, the first time Nick Chapman, our Jimmy referee, has asked two ladies to, 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 to lie down like that. Tracy Larby. So, okay, Jamaica, not here. You know what, Jamaica? Fuck you. Uh, Tracy Eden, what? thanks for showing up. Oh, oh, come on, man. I mean, whatever, man. Get mad at me. Get me fired. Whatever you want to do. Well, you didn't show up. It's like missing weight. Fuck off. Didn't she get injured? Whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm unfollowing. On, 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 we could have done an arm wrestling yeah. instead, right? Nobody follow her. Here we go. Indian wrestling. Here we go. One. Go. 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 Come on. I think I know who's going to win. Oh, 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 my goodness. The underdog. The underdog takes it. <gasps> Five hours notice! Wow! Incredible! The skinny white girl! And wow. that's why you train CrossFit. Wow, and do Tracy! So Wait, going into round Tracy's two. upset now. It's going into round two. Right, one, no. Wow, this is exciting. Oh, I like this. All right, here we go. Great shot. Great shot right here. Does she have a third boob? <laughs> here we go, two. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Now she's got the technique oh, okay. down. Okay. Uh -oh. Show off. Showing uh -oh. off. Uh -oh. Here we go. One one. Come on, baby. One one. Are you okay? Are you okay? First to three. Okay. First to three. All right. Oh, okay. I've never seen you so animated, Teddy. Best of five. One one. Well, I mean, you know, I, I gotta be on my best behavior. I one, can't say one, certain stuff here. I've already been told not to. So, uh, it's crazy whatever. Right Can you feel the energy? Man, Flora Can takes round it? one. Yeah, let's go, fans. Shout out Reddit MMA. Look we at, love you guys. Shout out to Reddit MMA. Chapman, he's laughing. Oh, yeah, let's go, Laura. And that's it. All right. Oh, my Takes God. Takes her again. Oh, another great oh. shot. It's just so crazy. It's all about the camera work on this fight, Teddy. Right. It, it really is. Happen. All right, so one more. I can't take it. One more for Tracy. We got two to one. Blue corner with the two. Red corner, Flora, our last minute replacement. She's going to do her best, but maybe without <laughs> Smile on his face. Maybe without the training camp, she's just not up to championship material. Can you do it, Flora? I believe in you. Nick, start it up. Look at the smile on Nick's face. Look at him. He is in <laughs> heaven <laughs> right now. He loves it. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nick, get in oh, there. Yeah. Get in there. All right. Get okay, in. violent in there. That's the last thing we need. Oh, yes. Two. Come on, Flora. Otherwise, Tracy takes it. It looks like she's got her over, and she puts her over. Over the top. Tracy turns the hat back after round one and sweeps it. I knew. I knew. I knew. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fucking loser. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Suck on that, Paul Felder. Yeah. Of Indian Day Wrestling, our champion of champions, nobody can ever be there. Nobody can ever be there. Nobody can ever be there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tracy! Shout out, Reddit MMA IRC. Thank you, Reddit MMA IRC. Wow, wow, beautiful. She just needed to get the technique down. Once she got the technique down, down, she got it. I know I like, John, I know pump the brakes down. down. You just lost. Are you okay? She saved the show, John Nutt. All right. I mean, yeah, she really did. You, the, 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 fight, the fight, the fight, the fight. Well, this is the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Everyone you, else can go away. Just lost. And I just want to say, if you ever, if you ever need a helping hand, you can reach out to us here at Full Metal Dojo, Fight Circus. We'll talk to you. We'll, 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 we'll get you off that ledge. You know what I mean? So no, no suicide today for Zero suicide for you. Another round of applause for Flora, our fucking loser. Good job. Ow, ow, Johnny. All I want to say is that if they were si if they were scissoring, I think Flora would have had a better shot. I think Indian wrestling. I mean, look at the quads on that lady, Tracy. Make out. Why won't they make out? That'd have been cool. It's just so incredibly frustrating when they won't make out. You know what I mean? Good God. Tracy is a queen. That woman is on fire. I just, oh, so hot. I'm so bothered. It's crazy.
crazy in here. But it's about to get even more crazy. Make sure if you're at home and you're watching on Minnesota that you are tipping the fighters. We don't want to be in the only ones in the industry that does that. We're wildcats. We're entrepreneurs. We're just exploring the world of fights. I know you guys have usual picks. Bob Fisher knows what I'm talking about. And now we're going to bring out our first real title fight of the night. And it is the only spinning ninja shit title. Only spinning ninja shit. That means when they make, when they go for contact, they can go spinning fist, spinning elbow, spinning knee, and spinning kick. But they have to have skins in their combinations. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in just a moment. All fighters have a rough journey in life. The life of a fighter is filled with blood, sweat, tears, ups and downs. And to cap it all off, the final prize for our dedication is brain damage. Ain't that some shit. Take my friend Fabiano Hawthorne, for instance. Fabiano is from Brazil. He's had to fight his whole life. Can you imagine fighting a million times in Brazil just to be able to barely afford a one-way ticket to Thailand? You get here, you're living the dream, and then bam, COVID ruins everything. Please sign up for an account, buy some tokens, and send a few Fabiano's way. The man deserves it. Thank you. Someone's definitely vomiting in this match. It's going to happen. You can't spin that much and not puke or fall down. Spinning shit only, because why not? I'm not sure this has been done before, and perhaps for good reason. Maybe it will be a spectacular failure. Shayanon Not versus Fabiano Hawthorne. This one's gonna be absolutely cracking, ladies and gentlemen. Spinning strikes and kicks. You know what I mean? That means they twirl around like a freaking ballerina. You know, you go around like that. Or I, I can't lift my leg high enough. I'm, I'm out of practice, but you get the idea. I want spinning wheel kicks and spinning hook kicks and spinning back fists and spinning rolling thunder kicks and backflip uppercuts and omoplata twisty twirls and a nouveau ring and a pinwheel. I want all these things. And we're gonna get all those things when Fabiano Hawthorne takes on Chayanun Nut in this spinning only attack fight. Listen to the name, Fabiano. Oh, I'm fabulous. Ooh, that's the guy who's gonna win, right? Fabiano comes to play, and not is not gonna be boring. I swear, I swear I want to see it. I'm not gonna swear anything. There are no guarantees in this dojo, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun.
dude, I've just got to say, uh, Jonathan Sampson, I've got to say, I think Macho Man looks better dead. He does. Johnny Sampson's about a uh, heart attack away right now. <laughs> By the end of the show, the TV makes it. <laughs> right there has a lot a lot on his plate right now tell you the truth let's actually really get into this fabiano is no joke fighting at a nova unio phuket this man's down for anything fabiano he's vicious my man and he has no problem with spinning stuff he has no problem with bare knuckle he has no problem with headbutts he's a capoeira guy absolutely not though i mean thailand oh let's go johnny not let's bring out his opponent so there he is right there, Fabian Hawthorne. Now, as I was saying about Nutt, Nutt does have Muay Thai experience. Yeah, there's a few spins in Muay Thai, but I don't think he has what Fabiano has in the Brazilian background and how tough he is as well. He is a heavy favorite, in my opinion, Fabiano, but no can surprise. We did see Flora take first round in the last fight against Tracy. Let's see if Nolt can take round one here against Fabiano. This is now an insane fight. Probably one of the realest fights we have on this card right now, and I'm fucking excited, man. What he does have, though, is a big height and weight advantage, which if you just connect with a spinning back kick or something, it could literally knock not out forever. Yeah, spinning shit is like it's on the next level because it comes in so fast and so hard. Hey, like the name of my sex tape, coming in fast and hard. So it can knock you out. You hit a bite, you get you catch someone. Now, they have to spin going into the maneuver and, or into the combination, excuse me. Then I'm pretty sure they can start throwing a couple real legit strikes but they need to spin into it. Well, let's and find this, out. Yeah, man, it's gonna be so dope, man. Take it over, Johnny. This is powered by Cam Soda. Thanks a lot, Cam Soda. I'm Teddy Move. Follow me on IG, Teddy Move. That's Aaron Seri Serpon. Suck it. Hey, let's get up and let's get ill. Reddit MMA IRC. They use it there. Everybody loves it. This next bout of the evening is championship action. Only spinning ninja shit allowed. That's right. Only spinning ninja shit allowed. And thus, I have brought some spinning motherfuckers to the ring. First, fighting out this man hails from a kingdom called Thailand. He weighed in at 77.3 kg and has a record of many, many, many wins with many, many, many losses. Give it up for the ninja himself, Chayanon. No! Love the cornrows. Gotta admit it, I love the cornrows. Three 90 second rounds of only spinning ninja shit allowed. That means in the combinations, they need to have spinning ninja shit. Three 90 seconds, and when it goes underway, the man the myth, Frederick Delbeck, is in charge. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's uncle, who they don't talk about because he came to Southeast Asia. What's wrong with his arm? 
Wow, spinning should have gone right real quick. Basically even Fabiano, old as shit though, huh? Oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, did, I just didn't expect that number. Oh, sorry, God. Fabiano. Here okay. we go, round one brought to you by my brother, Aaron Kagan. Shout out to Spokane, Washington. I love all you guys watching it here. I love you, Aaron. Here we go, minute 28. Oh, good oh, spin. Okay, oh, wow. look at this. It's Tara Groin. Let's see who draws first blood. There Woo! it is, baby, Capoeira. Big spin now by Nott. Not so good. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's keep that going. All right, Nott, let's go. Is that Paul Felder in the background? Jesus, is it? Honestly. Seriously, you're going to get dizzy, right? All right, here we go. Tough to measure distance is what they're trying to do there. Spinning back fist. A lot of misses going on now. Yeah, if you can't kick, Ooh, yeah. you can't spinning back kick, just throw that fist. There it is. I want to continue the combos, though. Continue the combos. Even if you miss, now go in. Oh, spinning back elbow. There we go. Good defense by Fabiano. He got his head up now. 44 seconds left. Here we go. Trying to switch stances. And again, swinging a miss. Oh. Ooh. Don't pull middle ankle. rope. Yeah, we want spinning stuff, not ankles. There he is again, not even close. Come on, man. Maybe a little bit of feeling out round. We know they do that in Muay Thai. Love that. Fake spin, then comes out with the roundhouse. Another roundhouse there by Nott. Which was awful again. Yeah, man, thought this was going to be cool. Clearly not so far. They just need to get the distance down. Yeah, get him against the ropes now, not baiting him. Let's go. Get that paw down. Now he's pawing at him, trying to get the defense down. And then, oh yeah, testing it now, Fabiano. Ten seconds. That's the issue, though, with spins. Oh yeah. What's the issue? When you know someone's spinning, you move away. So if you know they're going to spin all the time, you're constantly on the back foot. End of round one. Not great. Horrible, horrible compu box numbers there. A lot of misses, not a lot of makes. We did see a spinning elbow that landed off the forearm there. Shout out to Jimmy Oral 69. Nice Jimmy Oral 69. Love that. Jimmy Oral 69 in the house. I mean, just if, when you were younger, you were like 69s, like they were so cool. And then you got older and you're like, what the fuck are we doing? Like it's just such a kind of a kind of a high school, early college thing, 69. Yeah, yeah, but know? still, thank you, Jimmy Oral 69. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. But we but we don't like you. No, I mean it was just cool back in the day, I think, you know. Grow up, now. Jimmy Oral 69. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Says us, commentate on this shit. Yeah, no, yeah, no shit. All right, a little bit dizzy there. A couple bags of ice, one on the titties, one on the spine. The old titty spine right. ice trick. <laughs> Is that a trick? Seconds out. All right, again, seconds out judging the distance. Dude, that's what they need out. to do. They need to. And seconds and away. From I want them to continue the goddamn fucking Jimmy combo, Oral man. Throw a spin and throw a couple a punches. And then once you friend. rock them with that punch, throw another spin. I need to get in these motherfuckers' corners. Referee forgot to I'm shave. I'm trying to do another round like that, man. Let's go. Fight circus, fight harder, of course, powered by Cam Soda. And here we go, round, round two. Yo, T, song. Thank that you. Right, Johnny, round two. Once again, to all the tippers here tonight. Oof. Go Oof. for it again. Go for it again. Oh, 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 oh. See you in all oh. for the middle rope. Second spinning back elbow as he switches stances. Now he's back to southpaw now, not waiting for it. Do you know what? I forgot what we were doing. I was about to say, he's going to spin. He's going to spin. Yeah. <laughs> of course he is. This is just weird. Okay, come on. Get him against the Come on. I think he's going to spin. They have to at least throw something else sometimes. Maybe the next time, now that we ironed out some of the wrinkles here. Uh-oh, yeah. back against it. Yeah, on Fabio's face. Oh, wow. Bit much. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Finally got the distance one up top. Go for it again. Yeah, Not moves in, doesn't do much. Do you know what? He's planting that back foot like he's ready to spin. <laughs> wow, they're really telegraphing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they know. Spinning back elbow, Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Let that ride, man. Yeah, Let that ride. On. Let's go. John, just tell him to fight. Come on, man. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he's, oh, oh, oh. Oh. He, oh, that's it. It's, just, it's all over. That's it. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I tried. Find himself a little bit too much now. Fabiano having a great time in there. Oh, Scott, him. There you go. Oh. Can he spin him to a takedown? Oh, that'd be all right. Oh. I know. Anything yeah, like this. Here we go. Ten seconds great. left now. Round two. Oh. Man, the ropes are going to be up more elbow. than There we go, Nock. Elbow. Come on, Nock. Finally bringing it to the table. Bringing something to the table. Getting him close now, Nock. There it is. Nice duck under. End of round two. Mojo T song. <laughs> they both went to the Luke Welling neutral corners there. Shout out to Luke. What's up, my man? 
Let's have a yeah. look at that. Love that. The only shot that scored was not a spinning. Like, as long as they're not doing maybe three or four combos without a spinning should be fine. Throw a body kick, well, then throw a spin. Generally on, not looks like he's dizzy as fuck right yeah, now. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> Damn, she cute. Damn, she mean? What's she mean about? Girl, you want your rent paid? Baby. Shout out to I See Naked People. Shout out to I See Naked People. You tippers are killing it tonight. Yeah, nice job. Oh, and Hot Retard has returned. Happy who? Hot Retard oh, has Hat returned retard. again. Yeah, what's up, man? Second time of the night. The Mad Hatter, Hat Retard. Love you tippers. You're actually making this bout durable. We're going to give a big shout out now to Mexico City and all Mexican love that we get here. What is it with you in Mexico? Dude, those are my boys, man. Yeah. I'm, you, I'm rocking podcast down in Mexico City. Follow Che Monster as well. That's right, Che like Rivera on Instagram. That's my dog right there. What's up, Mexico? How are you doing? Speaking of dog. Look. Where do you, actually, where do you think John's getting all this cocaine from? <laughs> Obviously, in Mexico, bro. Here we go. Go ahead. Cut you off. Go ahead. No, I was just going to insult the referee, but let's get on with the show. Here we go. Wow, they cut that round down low. Oh, no. Back up to 128. Nobody can count here in Thailand as well as speak the English language, just like John Nooks specified earlier. Maybe they start bringing it now. Oh, there we go. They switched the time now. 117. That's a beautiful move there. But of course, as you said before, they were just moving out of the way. Nobody wants to get in trouble or get hit. Come on. Got him against the ropes. Yep. Good defense there by Not. Good spin by Fabio. Fabiano oh, yeah, he's now, planting really? that back foot like he's going to spin. <laughs> there you go, Nut. This should have been like that kick for kick like we had before. With it I just spun for leg. no reason. <laughs> Come on, man. They got to lead in with something else. Again, Fabiano. Oh! Yes. Beautiful spinning back elbow. It's about the fourth one he's landed, though, off the arms. He is more accurate than well, Fabiano at this point. I think what, this, what it needs is Olympic-style scoring. In what way? In what oh! way you could say, like, that's a point. Give him one. Give him oh, one point. Yeah, all right, Let's all point right. it up. Because this yeah, is like, awful. Yeah, that's a point. <laughs> yeah, because the way we're scoring it now is shite. All right, here we go. Come on, man. 20 seconds left. Not too much going on here. Again, kicking the ropes like a madman. What the fuck did the ropes do to Fabiana? No, he should be trying to kick Father Time, really. <laughs> 37 looks hella 57. <laughs> what? Oh, this hitting from Nott! A last second ditch effort from Nott to save this goddamn fight! Well, Here we all we lose go. that one, Teddy. Oh. God. Who is the winner of that fight? No one. Give a shout out there, Bob Fisher there, taking a picture up shorts. Bob loves doing the up shorts. There he is there leaning back and then going right at the crotch. Up shorts, Bob. I love it. That one landed beautifully off the shoulder. At least it landed though, my man. And see That's Fabio funny. spinning once again. Good technique. I mean, if he was in a movie, that would have worked. Bring him in. All right, here we go. What the shit? <laughs> Fucking move on. <laughs> Please. Ladies and gentlemen, again, there are no losers in this dojo. Uh, excuse All me, right? sir. And I got to give a big shout out to the sponsors. Molino Glass, CM Blades. Are we talking right here? We're talking right there. We're talking over there. See how it works out. See how there it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the judges for this fight. You in the crowd are the judges for who becomes the only spinning ninja shit champion of the universe. So, in the audience, who gives it up for the blue corner, Chayanon? Now, who gives it up for Fabiano Hawthorne? Where do you see? You see it, ladies and gentlemen. There are no losers, but we gotta have a champion. Fabiano Bit Hawthorne. Bit racist, no? Our only oh, wow, you're gonna call that racist <laughs> card, huh? All right. Champion. Thought we were over that. I mean. Hook me up with a, uh, uh, an axe and a bomb. Technique looked a lot better there, I guess, than Fabiano, even though not. Again. Definitely hit him more. Uh, Again, all right, crowd. Our champions win titles. Clearly, our crowd's you on drugs, best. and that's Ryan what we love Matthew about our crowd. Wearing masterpiece. Oh, hey, not, not, not. This bong is for you. This vase. I mean vase. Spinning shit, please. There it is. A bong for the loser, an axe for the winner, and we will be back with more fight circus 
volume duh in just a second. I love you. Not sexually. Again, not sexually. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'd like to give some shout outs to the audience walking at home. Shout out to Jimmy Oral69. And a shout out to what? I see naked people. I see naked people. You, you're the real hero, I see naked people. Back with more Fight Circus action in just a moment. Steve Banks is the true embodiment of what it takes to be an any time, any place, anybody kind of fighter. The man has been on the fight scene longer than I've had hair on my balls. COVID-19 even stopped this living tank dead in his tracks. With the borders being closed, there are no heavyweights that can be flown in to duel with this man. He's fighting three smaller guys tonight because that's pretty much all we can find for the guy. Somebody down in Phuket told me they saw Panda eat three-day-old leftover pad thai and that he wrestled it from a stray dog's mouth. That's fucked. Pad Thai has shrimp in it. Please sign up for a Cam Soda account, buy some tokens, and toss a couple to Steve Banks. The man needs it. Seriously. Good lord. This classic cylinder bong with beautifully colored, hand engraved Molino glass logo. This will be a great addition to any bong collection. This glass was taken out of the feet of John McClane in Die Hard. It was collected, then melted, and made into a classic cylinder bong Molino glass. Aim for the highest. The Battle of the Bands! What the hell are these people at FMD thinking? Battle of the Bands where bands actually bash each other's heads in? It's Jimmy Revolt versus God's Fried Bananas. I don't know what's gonna happen. They're gonna play their own walkout music. They're gonna throw down. Who you got? These two bands are gonna fight each other two versus two with the ability to tag in a team member. Prepare to hear the sweet sound of combat. We will have two members of Jimmy Revolt and two members of God's Fried Bananas facing off. The entire band must be eliminated. Jimmy's Revolt versus God's Fried Bananas. I gotta give the answer to God's Fried Bananas. They fried bananas and I, I, I like fried bananas. That's good shit and it's not easy to fry bananas. You gotta get that all, all nice and hot. This is Bangkok, Thailand. There are no rules, guys. This is Fight Circus 2. They very well might just beat the shit out of each other with guitars. Welcome to Bangkok, bitch. You want your Thai lesson for the day? Chai Yen Yen Na means easy tiger. Slow it down, tiger. These guys are a bunch of wildcats. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fight Circus, Volume 2, Circus Harder, Part 2, Cam Soda Powered. Another shout out to Reddit MMA, and another shout out to the guy that calls himself I Eat Ass, or something like that. I eat ass. This is for you. This is the battle of the bands. Now normally you have a battle of the bands where one band plays a song, the next band plays a song, and we all judge it. And we at Fight Circus think that shit is lame. Super lame. And we will not be doing that. Here in our carnival, we will take actual bands from Bangkok, such as Jimmy Revolt, and God Fried Bananas, and we will make them fight two versus two Muay Thai action. That's right, tag team Muay Thai action. So two of them will be in the ring, two of them will be in the ring, they can tag in the third member, they can tag in the third or fourth member. That is how it works, that is why we are here. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, one of the best rock bands in all of Bangkok. Fighting out of the blue corner with a combined weight of 300 pounds. I guess, I guess. They're not even as big as Ollie, really. Give it up for Jimmy Revolt. <laughs> and
and their opponents. Plural. Standing out of the red corner, fighting out of the red corner, doesn't fucking matter, I can fuck up whatever. Ah! Cocaine does jump This nut, band folks. is a new metal band that kicks so much fucking ass. They've seen a million faces and they've rocked them all. John Bon Jovi knows nothing about these guys. Give it up for God's fried bananas. Two bands in the fight circus ring. Big shit out, shout out, shit out to PK Boxing, the best rings in all of Thailand. Two bands, so we got two referees. Mr. Tommy, the wild card, Hayden, and Oran, the ever famous Thai fight referee. We brought in the ties to fill up the ties. Fight for Pad Thai, fight with Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Battle of the Bands. Round one brought to you by Ben Peral. Shout out, Ben. Fucking love you. Shout yeah. out, South Hadley, man. That's where I'm from. Aaron, go ahead. I'll say I've got a shout out as well to two more tippers. We have USS Liberty Incident <laughs> <laughs> and we have Whoopsie Goldberg. All right. There we go. Thanks for that. And again, Ben, appreciate the love, my man. Love the drunk calls that you're giving me late at night as well. Here we go. Two round on two, one. three on three. Round one Whoopsie battle. Goldberg of the bands two referees in there now this is just a shit show this, yep neither one of these fighters has any fight experience they're basically just actual musicians who are throwing punches i think they're all the drummer from lincoln park right dude, whose aunt is that in the corner dude she needs to be careful <laughs> These are all the illegitimate, illegitimate, illegitimate. I can fuck up as well, right? Go all ahead. the illeg illegitimate kids of Yoko Ono. Dude, no one is. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Nobody is gonna tag. What the shit oh. is going on? Fucking throw some it. Do something. All right, I'm gonna go get a beer. Take it. Two. 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 One for me, please. I would go get a beer, but the fact is that they're like they're like fifteen dollars in this place. All right, he's going to tag him out. No, he's not. Is he? Uh, he's not. Whoa, he's hurt. Uh, I'm hurt, Teddy. They smoke a bunch of cigs, too, so it's going to be hard for them to actually last out round one. 26 seconds left now. Oh, man. This is... Uh. Yeah, crowd now trying to pump him up, trying to get some sort of action. Shout out to Dr. Bona, PhD. Yay! Now dude, we got this guy in. Dude, I get that you're a doctor. You don't have to tell us you've got a PhD. Think hmm. about it. There he is now. Someone's aunt is in white pants and they're fighting. This dude looks like a mean motherfucker. Let's see if he can throw it. He's got a little hoodie on. Nice right hand. Punch to the body. They are just pawing at each other right now, ding, dude. Ding, 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 are these ding, guys ding, best ding, friends? Ding, ding. All right. Round one. All right. Okay. Be honest with you. I thought there'd be a lot more action going on in this Absolutely fight. Absolutely crazy. Wow, what a highlight that think, was. Go to the corner. You bring in amateur fighters that they the would do fight. better than that. Yeah, but man. No, just not here at Fight Circus. Just a street fight. We bring in people that don't even know how to throw punches. Literally zero rotation in the shoulders. No knowledge of kicking at all. That's who we have. Hope they're Thank a lot so better much. at uh, music. Are you guys okay? Is your cardio okay? You guys are all smokers. I know you're all fucking smokers. Look at <laughs> you. You're not dying? Okay. Jimmy Revolt, you guys are okay? You're not dying? I know you're a bunch of smokers as well. Are you okay? Your lungs? Your lungs bleeding? Okay. okay. My eyes are bleeding. We're going to do this. We need you guys to get more aggressive. All right? More aggression. More aggression. Again. Thank you to all the tippers. Eat ass bro, grasshoppers, hat retard, Jimmy Oral 69, USS Liberty Incident, Whoopsie Goldberg. Dr. Bona, PhD. We love you so much. Round two, Yoti song. Don't forget Reddit MMA, IRC, and Fleckhead. Round two of the Battle of the Bands, which is a two on two affair where you can tag in. 
<laughs> and of course, nice. I see naked people. Thank you so much, Dip. Oh, oh, no. oh what? Talk about spinning shit. Incredible. Gym. Amazing. And what? another one from his auntie. Oh, now, oh, they're, yeah, oh. now they're going. There we go. Get that camera off them. Put it on the. Yeah, they're going to start switching partners. Here we go. Tagged in, tagged in now. Wow, this is a Royal Rumble of sorts. A Royal Rumble My for three-year-olds. There this, it is. This is like a school play that went wrong. Seen better fights in my second grade classroom, to tell you the truth, but we got 44 seconds left here in round two. And that's 44 seconds too long, Teddy. Jesus. Okay, there we go. A lot more aggression. Nice, nice, nice with that team. Oh, wow. He's deep, deep kicking the he's shit the, out of that the guy. Team king. Whatever, dude. Nice punch in his butt as he left. All right. I like the Come shot on, nice on the sidekick. A little Shotokan karate, if you will, from the guy with the blonde hair. That really that's a nice is one. mullet though going on right there by the hooded fighter. And that's about He's it. He's got party in the front and party in the back. Awesome. Someone's auntie now on the aggression. Look at her go. Ow. Tap up top. Shout out wow. vagina puncher. Ever since I mentioned that Molino Glass would send the highest tipper, one of those beautiful vases, we've had an influx ding, 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 of ding, ding, tippers. Ding, 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 May it continue. Mode your D song. They are and so exhausted right now. Someone get them a nicotine patch for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's fun about this is that, that we highlight. can make up shit on the wow, floor. Wow, look at that highlight. Right? Wow, look at him. So I can just make up stuff. And by the way, ladies, make me a, make me a vodka. Make me a vodka. Please. Make me a vodka. You want it? Yeah. All right, hey. If we can do whatever down, we want, let's down. just end it. We're going, hey, we're going 1v1. 1v1. Third and final round. It's a tie-breaking round. Right now, the judges, the judges in the scorecards, they see it as being very close. So, we're gonna go 1v1, King of the Mountain. Who are you guys picking, Jimmy? Who's fighting one? Pick one fighter. One fighter. What do we think, folks at home? Should it be the ante against the uh, one Macaulay fighter, Culkin with the blonde hair? If you, if you feel it, you need to tag. Tag. The one. one Battle Royal didn't like work out. Now we're gonna go one on one here. A little okay. overtime, if you one will. One v one. Little Big a, shout um, out to all the guys tipping on Cam Soda. You all look amazing. Jimmy Revolt. God's fried bananas. Let's do this. Timekeeper. Let's not buzz do it this. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yo, T you know, this is what happens now when all those idiots at home don't pay for music. You've got to do shit like this to get paid. What has happened to the music industry, Teddy? Oh, uh, COVID, my man. COVID. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at him kicking now. Oh, spinning shit landed. Oh, oh Let's he's go, in trouble. Let's go, Macaulay oh, Culkin. Trouble. Oh, wow. They just. Oh, here we go now. Do you know this should not be sponsored by a shampoo company? Yeah, Jesus. Greasy, disgusting hair. Apart from Annie, looks amazing, by the way. These guys look like they play on, on some corner in San Francisco or Portland. Is that where these guys play? Are these guys busking in Portland? That's what they look like. Here we go. Nice one to the body. Back up top now. No shoulders in these punches whatsoever. This guy's wearing pants. Three quarters. There he is, throws him now, throws him now, all right. Do you know what this reminds me of? It's a throwback to bum fights, except bums Dude. can actually fight. Yeah, that was way better. Yeah, way better. Referee now trying to steal the show. Maybe he should. We need him now. Exactly. Do something. Slap someone. Here we go. Sorry to say that Ben Perry. Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, ben, kick I to the dick! You... Kick to the dick! Kick him in the dick! Kick him in the dick! <laughs> Sorry, fans. I just acted like I saw. I acted like a fan there. A punch to the back, straight right. to the spine. Look at these two having a fucking tickle fight. Look at oh, this kick two. to the body. There it is again. Oh, Get him with some yeah. spinning shit. Go, oh, yeah, Superman! Nice Whoa! Okay, good. Outside leg kick gets him up top. Another outside leg kick follows up with that right. Wow. Oh, great. Oh, wow. Hilarious. Hel amazing. Wow. Uh, he, he won the fight Beautiful. with that. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. All right. You look like you've never worked out before in your life. He's he never hasn't. done that. He hasn't. This is that spinning I... nothing. Here we go off. now. Shout Here out to Miss Princess K. Miss Princess K. You're gorgeous. Unlike these right. retards in the ring. Back and forth now, a little tickle face. fight. My bad. You're right. Face. Ooh. 
Jesus. I apologize. Face. In the race to the bong, Hat Retard, you are in the lead right now. You are number one. Oh, good shit, Hat Retard. Don't forget that bong was forged in the glass out of John McClain. John oh McClain's feet. Was that not the most magical fight you've ever seen in your lives? Battle. What would Pearl Jam do in that situation? Am I right? Pearl Jam versus the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger comes in here and he fucking dies, finally. Am I right? Because he's 90 years old and has done more drugs than anybody Except in the you. universe. I know. I know. Okay. Bring in the bands. We've got CM Blades sponsoring the Axes. We've got Molino Bingo Bango Bongos supporting the Vases. We will once again go to you, the audience, for our winner. Oran, please bring in both bands. Jesus. Again, you would expect, you would expect punk rock bands to be way more fit than this. You know what I mean? Maynard from Tool is like a BJJ black belt or something like that. No, I don't Freaking believe amazing. that. I don't think that. I, I what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> After three 90 second rounds of Battle of the Bands action, does the audience give it up for Jimmy Revolt? Jimmy Revolt, ladies and gentlemen. Or they is it God's it. fried bananas? <laughs> oh wow, Jimmy Shit. Revolt, landslide. Nobody liked you guys. Oh my God, that is just ridiculous. Give it up for uh, Jimmy Revolt one more time. <laughs> and and, and does, does anyone want to cheer for God's fried bananas? <laughs> Clearly the winners are Jimmy Revolt, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Clearly the losers need to go home and smoke, hang out with the flowers. A round of applause for the Battle of the Bands. No losers in this dojo. I'll get you to change if you want. Stay tuned, change stay tuned, little fans. Best fight coming up next. Faces. I'm telling you right now, the Sportsmanship best fight coming up next. Of sports. No dropping the bingo bango bongo base on the way out, my friend. No doing it, yes. Don't tune Thank out, you. don't tune right out. This way. Next three fights should be very, very exciting in my book, and I'm not bullshitting you. I'm telling you, man, next three fights should be pretty dope. Don't go anywhere. This I is it now. We're getting into the main event. China Puncher, Dr. Boner, PhD, Whoopsie Goldberg, uh, USS Liberty Incident, Miss Princess K, and a Hat Retard is the number one tipper of the evening. So a big shout out to Hat Retard. Without your support, we would not be able to do the fight circus. And who would not? I mean, Is that, that a good thing? His lives, I think. Oh, wow. Real. All right, then. I don't know who would survive without this fucking charade. I actually am having a good time. I, it really is fun. All right. We've got more action of the regular variety coming your way in just a moment. I believe it is the kicking only contest. T.T. Denman is a hero in Bangkok following his last fight. Let's get up and let's get ill, fight fans. DJ Renato, give me some music. You ever watch a fight where one of the fighters gets kicked in the nuts and just drops like a sack of potatoes? Well, when COVID-19 came along, it was a giant kick in the nuts to the entire combat sports world. Forget a kick. It was a sledgehammer. It was like Tiger Woods swinging a Mark Coleman-sized hammer right into the crotch of our industry. We all took a big one right to the stones. But in the martial arts world, there's an old Japanese saying, get kicked in the stones and fall seven times, stand up eight. I think it was Mr. Miyagi who said that. We will rise up again. But tonight you can help us by signing up, buying some tokens, and awarding them to your favorite fighter. It, Do it for the sake of our nuts. Thank you. Yeah, this COVID thing really sucks. And you know what else sucks? The pandemic. But you wanna know what sucks more? 
What sucks more is being a father in your 40s, and you're fat, and you've got diabetes, diabetes. and you're, you're ridiculously out of shape. And then your daughter gets taken by Albanians on a trip to France. She is literally stolen and thrown into human trafficking as a sex slave. And, and you can't do anything about it because you're not Liam Neeson. No, you're not. You're fat and on the couch, and you can't do crap. And your your daughter is just being pimped out right and left and center to different men from, you know, Kuwait and Bahrain and all these different places. Maybe she's sent off to Pakistan, and you know, you're worried about her sick, but but you can't do anything because you're living in fear of Corona. Masks on, guys. Masks on. This has been Mr. Brightside with John Nutt. Kicking only up next, ladies and gentlemen, what the promoter likes to call human cockfighting. It's kicking only. <laughs> Lionel Messi would be proud if Lionel Messi had no morals. You will recognize TT from Fight Circus 1 as he was slinging heavy shots at his opponent, taking home the first ever kicking only fight victory in martial arts history. He has a reputation of being pretty cool as if he was born from the flames of an old PlayStation 2. And he's taking on Tack. So one could say, they'll go TT for Tack. TT's back and he's taking on the iron mustache, Titty Tack, who's a Kung Fu master fighting in an iron foot Kung Fu style. It's gonna be Kung Fu versus Karate. Prepare to see a lot of kicks to the head. Tick versus Tack, kicking each other in the fucking head, yeah! The iron shins of Kyokushin or the iron foot of Kung Fu? We'll see who runs the Orient. TT versus Tack. Someone's gonna get smacked with a foot. Wow, look at the chin on that guy. Build a bridge with that. I'm not surprised he's wearing a scarf, Teddy. It's cold as ass in here. Really is. Also that scarf letting everyone know on Cam Soda. Hey, I'm available, gentlemen. Thanking no money you see behind him. Fighters that took out King of Kebab Alley earlier on. Hoping now to get their fight competitor in here named Top. The shitty French version of Harrison Ford applying the Vaseline right now. Only fight, folks. Kicking back, only. Back by popular demand, obviously. Last time, TT or Titty kicked ass. Let's see. Anything the other night? Yeah. There's four corners, isn't there? Love this guy. Love this guy. 
Super, super serious. You see Peter Denman behind him there. That is the captain of the ship there at Denman Fight Club. There he is, TT, coming out. Serious as can be. Unbelievable, unbelievable just cardio work ethic from this guy. And still set off the chart. time we saw him at Fight Circus, he put on a karate masterpiece, he faced Muay Thai and created a legend for himself and now he's back, like Teddy said, by popular demand, T.T. Dedman is here at Fight Circus. At a Denman's camp, also known as Cobra Kai, that's what we call it in the underground, these guys are no joke, strike first, strike hard, and of course, no mercy. And you will not see any mercy given by Tiddy's and Tiddy, Tiddy, I'm sorry, Tiddy, 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 One for one. One guy in a gi, one guy in a rash guard shirt, and hiked up a booty shorts. Wait till they show Tom. Look at those booty shorts. This guy's got some thighs on him and a nice ass. Wow, I guess a guy in a karate gi. One what for the, the ladies. <laughs> one for the ladies. Jack those up a little higher, dude. So I can jack something as well. Shout out, Big Mike 707. We love you, Big Mike 707. Thank you for joining us here right. at Fight Circus, Only Big kicking, Mike 707. Let's stretch out before yeah, this let's one. Yeah, let's do it. I'm Teddy Morve, of course. Stretch Aaron out Terry Sampon here. Follow me on That's Instagram. Serious. Teddy Morve, I check it out. I don't want to pull a groin. Yo, you know what I'm talking about, Pete. People come here to Bangkok, all they do is pull groins all day. That's what they do on, uh, on, on Cam Soda. Pull groins. And I, for one, am not flexible enough to have a damaged groin, so I will not do that. You know who does have flexibility? Only kicking contest contestants. They are flexible. Yoga flexible. You, you can just call them yoga. Yoga in that corner, yoga in that corner. It's amazing. And I'll tell you what, we thought this was gonna be crap the first time around, but it was probably one of the best fights last time. Really because of that guy right there. But I'll tell you what, we thought we'd bring it back. Now technically, the guy over in that blue corner, he does the old kung fu. The snake, the crane, the woodchuck, the badger. And we have brought him in here to test his skills against our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, weighing 65 kgs, fighting out of the blue corner, having his first ever human cockfighting, kicking legs only contest, but he's had many, many, many a Muay Thai fight, and a street brawl, and other fighting. I'm not even gonna name it. Give it up for the man, the myth, the legend. Everybody's the man, the myth, the legend these days. Tack! His opponent fighting out of the red corner. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. The motherfucking champion of human goddamn cockfighting. Shotokan karate repping. The only kicking kid. Mother loving T.T. Deadman. Huge pop from the crowd there, of course. A Fan favorite. Three rounds of only kicking human cockfighting, and when it gets underway, Oran is in charge. All right, to the center stage, only kicking one of the most sought after fights here on this Fight Circus card. It was a goddamn excitement fest last time. It was so cool. Tit for tat. Tat looks like it. a fighter. He really does. Yeah. Sure. Looks like, we he's looks like he's wearing a muzzle with that chin. He has got to be careful of the sweeps, though. Tiddy goes, yeah, he goes Straight up high, away. and then he goes back down low, and he sweeps you. Good defense there. Kick to the body. Nice roundhouse now. Good team. Of Tiddy in the south bar. Oh, solid uh -oh. left kick to the body. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and again. Tack me mugging him now. Another push kick. South paw, both fighters. Look at him. Egging him on now. There it is. Go on, then. Let's go. Give it him. Give it Ooh, him. Ooh, he got him to the body, TT. 
It's waiting for it again. Caught that. And I told you. Sweeps, man. Score high in the eyes of the judges here in the land of smiles. For sure. Also sucks to have to drape yourself off that canvas as he's staring down on you like, yeah, bitch. Back to now. the center of the ring they go. Oh, another left high kick there from the champ. Rocks him back. He cracks trees and moves statues, this man. Uh-oh. Damn, good check, though, from Tak. Oh, to the body again. In and out now from TD. We got 29 seconds left. What the hell is he saying? Saying my shots oh, are shit. too high. Did that hurt? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, come on, man. Don't bitch out, dude. Don't wear shorts like that and then bitch out. If you wear shorts like that, you can't be a bitch. Here we go. He was like, oh! Again. Flying, Beautiful. Brian. TT Denman. Go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. Then we're going to hear a ding ding from Johnny Knott. Oh, good check there. Yo, man, when he get that smile, you know it. Kick to the body in that. Ooh. Supreme confidence on the face of Denman. Oh, is there an injury? Yeah, man. His knee is F, dude. Uh oh, against Danny oh. Oh, oh, disappointing. I understand it. Let's the see if we can see where that kick happened. He's looking good there. Back up top. Look at him. What I recommend is wearing proper shorts and not having that stupid bit of hair underneath your mouth. <laughs> it's time. Hit fight circus three. Ah oh, man, that would have been a dope fight, but it would have been a massacre, of course, by TT Denman. Okay? He is the champion, the Hello. legit champ, man. And the king reigns. Nah, he hurt, man. He's hurt. He's legit hurt, dog. What? Oh. Guys, again, uh, there are no losers in this yeah. ring. And you can see the welt already, and you guys saw the knee kind of blow out a little bit. I'm not trying to have any torn ACLs, MCLs, and that type of thing. Yeah. So with that being said, your winner, and still champion of the world, T.T. Denman! Congratulations to that young buck right there. A shining career ahead of him for sure, whether it's in karate, hopefully he gets into MMA or Again, Muay Thai, but kicks on You point. are the champion of only kicking. Yo, I'm taking that bong. You know he don't smoke. You know he don't smoke. I'm taking that, man. Base is for you and it is special they better have and bowls I don't in the think back that you should use it ever I think oh you should they put do actual you don't know flowers in it okay maybe give it to your mom i'm or gonna something. tell denman all right Yo, look at this girl. you she my so friend pretty. are a champion Sorry. and i want Sorry. everybody Sorry, to guys. recognize tt denman is one of the best only kicking fighters in the world there he is media by agency Another thank you and eat denman. ass bro again you're on the comeback kid Keep going, son. That retard, you better watch your we back. We have two matchups coming to you, ladies and gentlemen. Both of them, again, championship action. There's only championship action in this fight circus. This is the only bestest, brightest championship fight circus in the universe. So what do we have for you? We've got MMA Symmetrical, three versus one. Coming to you now. This classic cylinder bong with beautifully colored, hand engraved Molino glass logo. This will be a great addition to any bong collection. This glass was taken out of the feet of John McClain in Die Hard. It was collected, then melted, and made into a classic cylinder bong Molino glass. Aim for the highest. one of the most insane fights I've ever seen on a fight card. You guys asked for it, you sick individuals. You asked for it, you wanted more. They gave it to you. We gave you the two versus one, but that wasn't depraved enough. So here we are. Three on one action. This is not the gang bang you're thinking about. Three versus one. Now Steve Panda Banks, he's a big man, right? He's brave, balls of steel. Steven Panda Banks stands at 7 foot 27 inches tall. He weighs 563 pounds. His reach is 124 inches. 
Now, all that was completely made up, but you wouldn't know any different because he's fucking huge. Panda proved himself to be a colossal force of nature in the fight circus debut. This could go horribly wrong. Bass Rutten personally warned me that this fight could be dangerous. The team of three that Panda Banks will be taking on will be fronted by Gilberto Petrocino. Gilberto Petrocino! Black Belt, 10-4 MMA record. He's some tough shit himself. Panda Banks wants three knockouts. He put it up on his feed. What's gonna happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Three is gonna kick the shit out of one. That's what's gonna happen. That's where I'm putting my money. This three-on-one match will take place under FMD MMA rules. Knees to the face of a downed opponent, legal. Soccer kicks to the head of a downed opponent, legal. Stomps to the head of a downed opponent, legal. All legal, everything's legal. Everything must go, it's everything must go sale. We're going crazy, it's crazy John Nuts. Everything you do, Fight Circus Volume 2. It's a three on one fight. Who okayed this? Circus, Aaron Sui Sampan, joined by Teddy Mulvey. Panda Bang's got a set of tits on him. Gotta love that. You said Panda has he been off board and it can chew. There's nothing that this man cannot chew or swallow. Look at that body. Big shout out once again to Media by Agency and the beautiful Eat Ass Bro. God, bro, you're amazing. You may recognize Panda Banks from his stint in American TV on The King of Queens. That was a long time ago, though. Then he got into fighting after that. Panda Banks is not only one of my favorite humans on the planet, I personally think he's like the Barry White of MMA. You know, he's just so sexual. You know, I mean, it's just so good to see. Panda, obviously we took a dark uh, bear and we took a white bear and we made them make sensual love, and that is the man that we have. I honestly, I couldn't be happier to have you in the ring right now. You're, my, you're literally one of my favorite people in the world. He is now in the blue corner. Let's bring out his opponents. Plural, 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 MMA symmetrical. I'm a one, I'm a one, one. Yeah, 
three amigos you would think would have an advantage against Steve Panabanks. Obviously, three against one. You think any three could be a bully beatdown, could be a gang beatdown. I don't know, man. They look hella scared, some of them. Wu-Tang is forever, Fight Circus is also forever. We ain't going anywhere, baby. Make sure you're staying up to date on the live tipping. I'd like to give shout outs to all the people that are called like eatass.com and all the rest of you crazy mother lovers watching on Cam Soda. Clearly the best streaming platform ever, ever. Now again, I think you guys don't need any uh, you guys all know who he is. This is a Bangkok house and this is his house. He's a Bangkok champion. He's a heavyweight Muay Thai WBC green belt wearing one of the baddest men on the mother loving planet. Give it up for Steven the Panda Banks. Love that guy. And his opponents. It's gonna go like this. That guy weighed in at about 139. He was like 77, he was 97. And you were about 82 or something like that? You were 78, okay. Either way, we got a lot of kilos against a lot of kilos. But let me also explain this. We worked it out so that Mia over here doesn't speak any English, right? So no communication can happen in the English tongue. Unless they want to lick labias or do a little bit of no communication will be had. He's had over a hundred Muay Thai fights. He's fought Lumpany. Give it up for Meow, ladies and gentlemen. His teammate standing in the middle, this man has never fought at Lumpany. This man will probably never fight at fucking Lumpany. Is this your first fight? Yes, it is. He goes by the name of King. King motherfucking Adam. Give it up for Adam. What the and fuck? And the third man on the team, uh, he doesn't look Portuguese. He doesn't look Brazilian. He doesn't look, what, what are you? You're a mutt. He's a fucking mutt, ladies and gentlemen. He's got American in him. He's got Brazilian in him. I'll put something in him later. Ollie Barbecue, you could get that meat if you want. Hey, yo. So, three versus one, MMA symmetrical title on the line. Three 90 second rounds. And what will happen is it is stand up only fighting. We will lift it up. He will have a turtle rule. If he feels like he's getting overwhelmed, he can drop. He has three times to do that during the fight. That should, that should become fucking strategic in the future, okay? We did the uh, coin toss in the back. It will be Miel and Gilbert going in first. We bring the third man in at 30 seconds. Timers, timers, you need to be prepared. 30 seconds, we bring in the third man. Hey, okay? Hello. Max Rapkin, at 30 seconds, Adam King is allowed to go in. 30 seconds. Officials. At ringside, Nick Chapman, Tony, Sylvan, Frederick, Nick, you guys need to be prepared for this. Fabiano, please be prepared for this. Happy Jack, please be prepared for this. Ladies, be prepared for this. Again, you can get fucking hurt, but don't get injured. Tap gloves, tap gloves, bring them in, let's do this. Sorry. The man in charge, Tommy the wild card, Hayden, the fifth sexiest man in the ring right now. Honestly, Teddy, this is a little bit weird. Ali Mohammed versus Bank of Normandy is fun. But now we've got Steve Panda Banks. Look who's at the had, size of him. Is, Sorry, go is, ahead. Is that, is that like 33 wins out of 40 in Muay Thai? Uh, yes, sir. Against two legitimate MMA fighters. 
Yeah. It's, and if, it's so interesting. If two on one guy fights weren't gay enough for you, we just went gayer with a <laughs> three on one now. So we got tiny against big. We have zero experience against a shit ton of experience. The only thing is, is Panda Banks is not really in elite fighting shape, but his cardio is still there for sure. Knockout power for sure. Look at him yelling now. Let's go. Pumping the crowd up, Panda Banks. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, Redneck. Oh, look at the size of him. Oh, my goodness. What? Are you what? Are you oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Windmill by the banks. There he is. There he is now. Look at that. He's looking center rather than looking at either fighter, which is super smart right now. No one wants to get close to him. Knock that power. Let's go, Ben. We've just found out pandas have peripheral vision, Teddy. Come on, throw some hands. Oh, oh yeah. that is fucking high. Oh shit, watch your back. Here we go now, here we go now. Three on one. Why is he not Elbow throwing there hands? From Spain to Banks. Throw some hands. Come on, Pat. Oh, good right hand. Good head movement now by Banks. Oh shit, he's up against the corner. Look at the, for him. Look at the kid who's not, look at they the kid. Oh my goodness. They cannot hurt him. Andre the Giant in the ring. Oh, he's down. Two seconds left. That's not a turtle. Does not count as one of the turtle uh, exits that he gets here in this fight. Back at it. Let's go. Throw That's that hand. There he is. Panda. To the body now. Throw the hands. Throw the hands, Panda. Tie fighter waiting. Scared a little bit. Left hand now by Panda. Big roll. Hands and Beautiful hands. Good combo. Oh, he's taking them on now. He's waiting for it. Oh, throw that knee, Panda. Watch your. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh, here we go now. Panda's rocked. Look at the kid who's never fought before. He's doing a great job in there. Oh, he's oh. holding his own. Oh, good okay, hands. Now getting to him. Is that it? Whoa. Shout out to Damn the Man. Another tipper here at Fight Circus. Yo, yeah. That he did that. Watch this now, this woman. Taking a look now, tries for a three, can't get it. Tough for Panda Banks to figure out his game plan here. Everyone has a game plan until they get in the ring with three men. You have a game plan when you're in the ring with three men. That's sucking them off. My goodness, Teddy. You know what? I, Thank you. It was a good one. It was a good one. Great. Sitting ringside with you, I absolutely love working with you, and I didn't mean to aggressively say suck at that point. Here we go. <laughs> yep, Panda Banks looking good. I just swing, want to swing those fists, God damn it! Yeah. I think he just doesn't want to leave himself open. The L is out. It will be Adam King and Gilberto versus Panda for the first. Adam King, the man of the fight so far, the man of round one. Never fought before. Took beats on yeah. the ring apron, still came in and threw leather and caught Panda Banks from behind. You've got to be careful now on the ringside because Panda Banks will come in hot and heavy. Throw some hands, Panda. We'll see I it again. It was, I think it was, it was that whole Muay Thai first round. It was kind of a setup. He kind of sees now. He knows now dude in the red's going to come strong. He knows this dude in the black, we ain't going to do much. Dude, he we've seen the Panda fight before. We know he's got lightning in that left hand of his. He can knock out heavyweights with that. And he has done. So throw one, knock one out, and then just you can work on the other one singly. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. That'll be the game. Come on, Panda. All right, let's do it. Hey. Midgets for life. Life. Yeah, dude. All right, here we go now. Two on one. Panda Banks is the big man alone by himself. Oh, no, take down. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So takedowns are allowed, but no submissions. Mm, I guess right? so. <laughs> I guess so. Open the fight. Gilberto service. and Adam in the ring. Adam in the red. Gilberto in the black. Swarming on him again. <laughs> Minute six left now. It looks as though a few seconds now. We got 30 seconds now. Meow is coming in. There he oh, is. Oh, goes to the elbow. Uh oh. Elbow's out. They're swarming up. Yeah, big elbow for Panda. Let's go, baby. Nice one, too, by Meow. Shots to the body. Panda. Good right hand from King. He's still up. Oh, oh good oh, right body shots and he's oh, down. No, oh no. Oh, he's trying to tap him. Whoa, 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 what is that? Whoa, whoa, what is that, man? I'm going after his cardio now with maybe an illegal choke. Uh oh, Panda, mouth wide open. He is still standing. 
got a swing, Panda. We've got a swing. There we go. That's not being hesitant now. Go again. Oh, good hands. He's getting house struck. They're just taking him down. Oh, knee to the face. Uh oh. Big knee to the face there by. the true grit in this man right now. Three guys have not even taken him out yet. Tries an elbow on the way down, can't do it. And goes for a right hand, can't do it. Now again, this may be where he goes for that choke later. There it is, yeah, and he just like, yeah, I won. No, he didn't. <laughs> God, Catwoman enters the room to let us know that round three is happening. Good with numbers. Yeah. They're all three rounds. Who cares? Shout out once again to Dilly 1669. Love you, Dilly 1669. Shout out, dude. 69 all night, dude. Red marks now on the side of Panda Banks' belly. Up on his face as well. I think we have first blood on Panda Banks' nose from the knee. Come on, Panda. Let's pretend you're at a go. Let's pretend you're at the buffet, son. Let's own it. Knock one of these bitches out. Come on. Let's go. Three out of one, you little Sweet. Bitch, dude. Swing that one at a time. Let's go. Don't let him get that. Oh, nice kick. Go again. Elbow. He got him with the elbow. Left kick. Come on now. Oh, oh, he's 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 got him in the corner. Big right hands now. Uh oh, Panda might be in trouble here. There Panda we go. Scramble. There we go. Oh, oh, oh right hand oh. to left from Adam King. Get in there, Tommy. Panda taking it like a champion now. Big elbow swing. Oh, oh, oh no. Punch. Oh no. Seems like not much training. Oh, three men now Oh, now they're going to try and take him down again. Three men covering up. Oh, uppercut drops him. Oh. Adam I made that. Uppercut may have dropped the champ. Shout out to Penis McGee. Penis McGee, we love you. Left hand from Panda, that hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, stop trying to take him down, you little bitch. <laughs> Three of them, and you're trying to fucking lay and pray with three of them? Fuck you. Come on. See? A little bitch is even coming to fight him. There you go, next nice three, take down. Panda Bay's coming now, baby. Let's do it. They're scared. And another whole ass takedown. I hate that guy. Down. I hate that guy. Another whole ass takedown. I hate that guy. Come on. Look at the, the warrior standing back up. A true David and Goliath, but here we go. Davids. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, rolling thunder. Oh, yeah, baby. What a way to finish the fight. Give this fight to Panda Banks. Come on. Once again, yeah. shout out. Damn the man, Dilly, 1669. And Penis McGee, you made this fight what it was. An absolute shit show. Beautiful elbow there from Panda. Watch this take down. King down. To the back of the head. Spine. Ouch. Ladies going crazy for the big man. And why not? He deserves it. All right, let's see what happens here. Is this going to be the next one? Maybe they should do an extra round extension. Probably not. One on one. <laughs> I'd love it if it's one on one. 30 seconds. No, man, I, think, I think Panda and King have got a rivalry going. Hell yeah. You know? By not beating up one man. Yeah. <laughs> we love Panda. All right, let's see what the fans say. Three rounds. After three rounds of MMA symmetrical action, 
We are going to the judges, the live audience here in Bangkok, for who the winner is. So ladies and gentlemen, do we have it for the, the threesome? Do we have it for the three-way? The three-sexual? Or do we have it for It should go. Yeah. If three don't take out one, yeah. fuck yeah. it, the one it wins. Hands down. As you can see, our winners can win real prizes that mean a lot. I'd like everybody to give it up for again, Mr. Pandabanks, Steven, the Pandabanks, clearly our anime symmetrical champion. Gorgeous, gorgeous pre main event. Great work, guys. Great work. Great, 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 great fight. Your fans. Thank you all very much for coming out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're here next time. Try to be here. We're going to try to put a better show every time. Sure, yeah, Something about brisket? Yeah, we need, <laughs> we need subtitles on that there, sir. Our ninth fight of the night, our main event will be a bare knuckle boxing match between TJ Chang and a crazy Thai guy. I'm not kidding you, that's what they wrote down here. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, time for the main event. Oh man, bare knuckle fight. Get their brains knocked around in those skulls a bit. Maybe they won't be so smart when they come out of that ring. TJ is a West Country warrior who simply really enjoys fighting. TJ Chang loves to bang. Juan P. Chit Sirapana, a guy who apparently his nickname is the Crazy Thai Guy. I give the edge to Crazy Thai Guy. This guy is just on repetition, punching, punching, punching his whole freaking life. If the Fight Circus crew think that you're crazy, you probably are. You're probably a loose cannon. Are we ready for this kind of ridiculousness to take place without gloves, BKFC rules? Taking off all the protection, losing the gloves, losing the wraps, just taping the wrists and slugging it out, meat to meat and bone to bone. Very, very exciting. There may be blood. There may be stitches. Nobody knows what to expect other than blood. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. BKFC rules in the heart of Bangkok. I think we're ready, guys.
fight to him this The guy's like, take off your headband. He's like, nah, I'm straight. The guy's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. TJ Shane could give zero fucks right now, folks. Could that bowl be any more in his face? Look at that hairy guy. I'm getting lost in this guy's eyes right now. What the fuck? I don't even want him to put the gum shield in. Lights up my life. Bare knuckle boxing, PJ Chang and Sierra Shaw. One UK, for the ladies. UK versus Thailand, and this is the main event last fight of the night. Thanks for joining us on Cam Soda. I'm Kenny Mobe alongside Aaron Serge and Puck. That's spicy. That's a spicy sauce. I think we all like that sauce. That's nice. That's nice. Fighting out of the red corner, also, definitely not hailing from Thailand. He is from the UK. He is kind of pikey, so I'm sure gypsy wise, he has probably had some bare knuckle boxing before, but nothing of this magnitude. He is the most handsome motherfucker in the ring right now. I would lick the sweat off of this man's fucking ass. Give it up for TJ Hellboy Chang! Three two minute rounds of 74 kg. Bangkok bare knuckle boxing title on the line, and when it gets underway, the other pikey gypsy British guy in the ring fist it up. Nick Chapman, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Main event time, Fight Circus, powered by Cam Soda. Moment you all been waiting for, possibly. <laughs> of course, a huge height advantage for TJ Chang. I think the experience may go to Sriracha as far as that 50, 40, and 10 may not be real. He could very no, well have had real. a shit no. ton more fights. That's, That's how Thailand not real. Roll, not real. Uh, Thailand rolls. Excuse me. This is though, this is bare knuckle. Both will have a lot more power than the gloves that they usually wear. Here we go, round one. We have three two-minute rounds. If it goes that long, I am Teddy Mobas, Aaron Seri Sampon. Fight Circus Volume 2, fight harder. Powered by Cam Soda. Aim for that Ali Span. Aim for that Ali Span. Look at the ink on TJ Chang. God it's damn it. Dope, Is man. he made for Instagram yeah, or yeah, what? It's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. I gotta say, it's cool. And I'm not afraid to take in a man's body. I do it a lot. <laughs> and I'm taking. Oh, in. nice uppercut there. Much Ooh. bigger TJ, isn't he? Indeed. I love that left. Love that left. Man, he's really measuring him up now. That's what he's doing with that jab. He's hurting him, but he's really getting distance right now, TJ. Oh, throw that right, son. Uh-oh. I generally thought it's bare knuckle. They actually had tape on the hands, but they have nothing. Oh, shit, you're right. That is actually bare, legit bare knuckle. My bad. TJ getting the chance from the crowd as he moves in with the left. Good defensive left hook. Is there that John C. Riley on the on the bulk, on the apron over there? Oh, takedown! Great, great takedown from the tie fighter. Smile from TJ as he goes up. Touch of the hands, not the gloves. 53 seconds left. Goes down low now. Love it. Upstairs, downstairs. Oh, Neil Chapman, get out of the way. Good slap. Almost a Stockton slap now. As Siracha says, let's fucking go. Again, looking for that jab. Mm. He's going to set some up. Once he nails it too, he's going to follow it up with something vicious, something tight. Let's see it. Just waiting now. Got him against the rope. Sriracha, is he going to stay here? Is he going to circle away? Intelligently circles away. Get some more rooms. Big ding, ding, left. Ding, 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 ding. Tino. Um, that was short. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, but uh, sweet, nonetheless. Whatever, whatever. 
Enjoyed round one action right there. Both fighters hopefully now we're in the money round. And then the money, money round later, as I love to call it. Let's see if round two is the money round. What do you think there from both fighters? Aaron, let's get some real uh, commentary here. Really? We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it properly. Okay, well go TJ, down. look go at ahead. this, trying to set something up with those jabs, but he didn't get taken down. Muay Thai style, he was not happy about that. I think he really uh, got some cobwebs out. I sure. think now the lights on him now, you know, the crowd screaming his name. I think now he's getting real comfortable in that ring. I believe Sriracha did actually catch him with one left hook. Did, did, did. Yep. yep. Actually, maybe two. One defensive, and I think one was an offensive. Neither one, though, on the replay. Thanks, audio team. Seconds out. Audio. Seconds out. All right, here we go. Seconds out. I expect to see TJ pick up the pace here in round two and pour on a little bit more of the heat if Saracha can take it. Let's see. Shout out, Reddit. MMA IRC, one more time. Shout out, Eat Ass Bro, one more time. However, Pat Retard is too far in front. He is the bong winner. He will get that bong, bong sent to him, courtesy of Molino Glass. There we go, round two, bare knuckle main event here at Fight Circus. TJ Chang in the white, Saracha in the black. In fact, Reddit MMA RRC actually said, send one of those midgets to the post office right now and send that ball straight to Hot Retard. In fact, I'm gonna better that. I'm gonna send the midget along with it. Hell yeah, we, we should. We can do that in Thailand. Pick a superhero, which one do you want? We got Batman. Yeah, Superman. pick one. Batman, TJ now digging deep. Another left from Saracha on the way out. Evil eyes from TJ Chang into the center of this ring. They are toe-to-toe -to -toe right now on that Fight Circus banner. Down low now, Sarah Cha. Now he's moving TJ Chang up against the ropes. Is Sarah Cha going to mount some oh, the right, right hand, hand over the top? Beautiful. TJ hands down baiting him. Good in and out work now from TJ. Sarah has got him. No, he does not head down way too much for Sarah Cha. Waiting for a knee or an, obviously not a knee. Oh, oh, oh swing and a miss. both are swinging. Both, both are swinging and missing. Went for the green monster there, but could not connect. A little bit of a tie up now. Nick Chapman needs to get in there and he does. Pulls him back to the Fight Circus logo. Let's go. Touch of the hands. Here we are. Love that jab from TJ. 35 seconds left. Damn, let's go. No quitting here, our child, though. But I don't think he has enough time left in this fight. He needs to start oh, doing something. Nice left hand. One more time from Hellboy. Can't believe the headband is still in. Oh, good punch to the body. Oh, whoa. Oh. He tried to headbutt him in the game, yeah, actually. <laughs> Is that why he keeps going low like a rhino? Settle down, Sierra Chow. Here we go. Ten seconds here, round two, third and final round coming up. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Big right hand! And uh, round two. Not bad. Fast, fast and furious and fun. Yeah, here at Fight Circus in this bare knuckle brawl. Sierra Chow getting legs underneath him now. God damn, she beautiful. You need a baby daddy? I could be a good stepdad. You need the Honda? I ain't buying you a Mercedes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Measuring now, TJ. Good, beautiful jab. Pretty much the story of the whole fight has been that left jab yep. from TJ Chai. There's a nice right hand there from Sierra Chai. Probably his biggest weapon that we've seen so far. Either that or his hair, which is actually on fire. That's not orange hair. <laughs> and there's that beautiful right hand. As Sierra Cha covers up, and now third and final round. Give that guy an Alice Bond as well. We got two that minutes left awful. in this fight. Two minutes left in this card. Thanks again for joining us worldwide on Cam Soda. This is Fight Circus. John Nutt's brainchild here. His, his imagination went wild, and it's pouring out now through the internet waves. Again, oh. once again, thank you to all the tippers on Cam Soda. You make this fight what it is. Awful. Third and final round. Bare knuckle boxing. TJ in the white. Siracha in the black. A lot of support from TJ around this ring, Teddy. A lot TJ of support. It out. Let's go. Yeah, nice left. Good step to the side as well. Wow, nice one, too. Yeah, foot movement there from Chang. Ooh. Hellboy getting that jab, man. He loves it. When's he going to throw the right, though? Is it oh, he's going to throw the right. Talk about the right, gonna... baby. Hi up. No quitting, Siracha. Oh, swinging left hand again there. Started with the right, got TJ to move back, swung that left just off the shoulder, but beautiful work. 
can see Sri Ratchai going low with that head and then jumping up with the left or right hand. The left hand doing wonders for him. That time with the right. Oh! Yes. TJ putting it on. TJ putting it on this time. Let's go, minute 15. Let's start Bangkok brawling. This is what we're here to see. Oh, I like that. Dirty Chapman boxing. separate. Bring him center stage. Let's go. A lot of grabbing. That's the problem when you have a taller fighter when they come together. Stiff left hand. Looking for that right one more time. And then again, look what happens. Mouth oh, open now, TJ Chang. Uh -oh. Right hand from TJ. Good left up top, followed by a right to the oh, right hand. Got him with the left. 40 seconds, they're picking it up. I think Sriracha is enjoying this fight more than TJ Chang is right now. Oh, yeah, now he's talking shit. Let's go, Sriracha. He's talking for the ladies. <laughs> that is true. Going hey, man, oh, now, baby. Left. Accuracy a little off now from TJ and a lot better from Sriracha. Here he is in and out now. Uh oh, dancing now. Oh, good the body. I like that. Level changes. It throws TJ to the mat. TJ slow to get up. Whoa. That's just a Muay Thai right there. Tripping your Ten opponent. Ten seconds left. This is anybody. Oh, he tried to attack hands. Oh, and he's swinging after the bell. What is going on? Sriracha may have stolen. I don't know. This can go either way. Sriracha definitely turned the fans. But did he turn the judges? We're going to find out. Whoa. That's pretty dope, man. That's not bad. That's not. Good job, fellas. Wow, all the tits are you have <laughs> He Doesn't look confident, does Any he? Any girl with fake tits is yelling TJ's name right now. <laughs> I'm There's jealous. a shit ton of them here. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous. Here we go. There's that bull move that he has. Nice lands it with that right. TJ, nice two, one, two down. Yeah, land him with that. Not that accurate, though. Not true. Unfortunately, some of them are bigger winners than others. Nick, if you can still raise the hands. So, we went three twos. The judges came to a split decision. Okay? Yes, I know. Two rounds to one split decision for your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, Mr. TJ Chow. To the victor goes the spoils. A beautiful axe for the flame haired Adonis. Yeah, he believes he won. There are other people in the ring that believe he won, but unfortunately, we did go to the red round. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I apologize. Your winner and champion of the Bare Knuckle Bangkok Brawl, Mr. TJ Chen. Just an overall winner in life is that boy. Yes, he is. That's not how you pull the bomb. That's I know, yeah. That's not how you pull the bomb. No, John C. Riley, you let yourself here. down, son. You know, we're talking to Mr. Feldman and the uh, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship people. Would you possibly like another Bare Knuckle Boxing fight December or January of this year? And we'll get you some, we'll get you some fights.
How did he get into Thailand? Fucking fly. It was amazing. Follow Followed by the dead macho man and Titan King. Bob oh Sapp in the motherfucking house. Holy fuck. Dreams come true. Oh my god. Bob Sapp is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unfucking believable. But with John Nutt, everything is believable. This is out of control. Bob Sapp in the fight circus ring. Wow! It's a party in the ring! We should go! We should go in! No, we? Am I invited? Let the music! Let the music! Let's get the lights on! Let's get the lights on! Holy fuck! Bangkok, make some noise for the Absolutely. Thank this you, is amazing. Man. You know, the beast, Kawadi Cup, Thailand, the beast is in the building. <laughs> I'd like to give a real big, 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 real big shout out real quick to it. USA. What's up, USA? What's USA, up, what's up? USA, oh, oh, oh. USA, yeah, we USA. Little, they go through some problems. We got to give them a little shout out on that. <laughs> Konnichiwa to my people back in the whole Japan. <laughs> Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We got this camera right here. We're oh, going to yeah. unsnap that boy. Oh. <laughs> and Anna Hasio to my people out there in Korea. What's up, my love? <laughs> Oh, man. Bob, this is, again, yeah. this is such a pleasure having you yeah. here. Hey, what, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You, you want to be you. part of the Fight Circus team? Hey, you know? let, let me tell you something. The beast has come to FMD in Cam Soda, baby. You know I came over here for one thing and one thing only. What's that? What's that? <laughs> That's just a bust a nut. Yeah. Oh! What? Oh shit! What? 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 What?